Hey everyone, my name is Ramneet and today we are going to talk a little bit about cognitive distortions and the different types of distortions um, that can occur in our everyday life and uh, as well as an activity to kind of combat some of these distortions that can have a negative influence on our life. So first of all, what are some cognitive distortions? Uh, they are irrational thoughts that can influence your emotions. Um, it's okay to have them from time to time. Uh, it's actually quite normal. Um, however, they can be harmful if they're at uh, its extreme form. So to get started, one of the cognitive distortions that can occur is magnification and minimization. Um, so that could mean exaggerating or minimizing the importance of something or an event or believing your achievements are just not as important or that the mistake you made is excessively huge. Um, catastrophizing is a type of magnification. Um, so seeing only the worst possible outcome of a situation. The other one is overgeneralization. So this is making broad interpretations uh, from a single or few events, such as I didn't do well on my job interview. I never do well on anything. I just suck at interviews. Um, so really overgeneralize one point, um, just because of one aspect in your life going wrong, you think um, everything is bound to go wrong. Magical thinking is the belief that acts will influence unrelated situations. So I am a good person, bad things just shouldn't happen to me, is one type of magical thinking uh, distortion. The other is personalization. So this is the belief that one is responsible for events outside of their own control. Um, you know, my mom is always upset. She would be fine if I did more to help her. So just thinking that you have more control out of things outside, um, outside of your control. Jumping to conclusions is another one. So interpreting the meaning of a situation evidence. Um, such as mind reading, so interpreting the thoughts and beliefs of others without adequate evidence. Such a, uh, an example of this would be, she would not go on a date with me. She probably thinks I'm ugly. The other type is fortune telling, so the expectation that a situation will turn out so badly without adequate evidence. Um, so just assuming that you know something is going to happen. Emotional reasoning is another type of distortion. It is the assumption that emotions reflect the way things really are. Um, so an example is, I feel like a bad friend, therefore I must be a bad friend. Disqualifying the positive, so recognizing that only the negative aspects of a situation while ignoring the positive. So one might receive many compliments on an evaluation, um, but the, you focus on the single piece of negative feedback. Um, so really just thinking the positive doesn't even occur, isn't even occurring, sorry. Should statements is another type of distortion where there's the belief that things should be a certain way. So I should always be friendly. I should always get my way. All or nothing thinking is thinking in absolute, such as always, never, so I never do a good enough job on anything. Sometimes these statements we use on a casual basis, like I'm never going to get it right. Um, but that's a type of distortion that you have that's influencing the, the, your impact, the impact of your work and the consequences of that work. So um, there's things you can do to kind of change that all or nothing thinking. So moving on to the things that you can do <laughs> is the activity. Um, so for this activity, I'd like you to take a piece of paper and pen and list three types of cognitive distortions that you may engage in um, based on the type of distortions that I just mentioned. And I'd like you to write a sentence that you may have used in the past or uh, use regularly. And then think about what kind of cognitive distortion that falls under and write an alternate statement you can use to reverse the cognitive distortion. This is gonna help you to kind of get away from that negative thinking into more uh, realistic or positive thinking. So for example, she probably thinks I'm ugly um, can be changed to, she might think I look pretty good today. So just changing the way you answer your own thoughts can have 
and impact um, long term. Thank you for listening today, and I will be back with another Skill Hub activity next week.